I'm back with the vlogging. <laughs> um, I don't know how, what the frequency will be, but um, I probably have read comments from you by now. I don't know because I haven't posted the vlog for August 30th and 31st, but it's coming. I've been super busy for the past few days. So I have been having <laughs> a lot of problems with my internet lately. And it seems that my internet ceases to work. It just puts me offline every night at 12.30. And these days I'm working super late because I have a lot of things to do. So I'm trying to catch up. But then the connection goes down. Around 12.30, I would say around 12, 12.30, 12.35, around that time. And it usually lasts for a good couple of hours. And it started to frustrate me quite a bit. It started, I would say, early last week. It just like, it just dies. Then I called my uh, internet provider. And this is where it gets like really weird. So he says, well, so I tell him the story and he goes, hmm, that's kind of odd. So he checks everything and he's like, no, I can see that, you know, the modem that you have from us, it's been active for 125 days without any interruptions. So your service is fine. Like, you know, there, it's not on our end. It's not at your end. The internet comes into your building. But I said, I still don't have internet. So, and I do have an airport, um, uh, what's it called, a uh, router from Apple that connects with my computer. So that's the bridge between the two, the computer and the modem for the wireless um, network. Thank you. So he says, well, try and disconnect it and reconnect it. And that didn't work. So he says, okay, well, I'm going to restart the modem at my end remotely. And this should all like be okay. And everything was fine. And so I asked him, <laughs> I said, am I the first person that calls with this type of problem? Like, why does it suddenly shut down almost at the same time every night? Is something weird happening? And this is what he told me. He says, well, <laughs> there might be, I got to find the right word. He said, There's, there might be something in your area that uses... Um, high frequency electrical signals at that time every night and somehow it has an implication on your router have you ever heard of that because that totally freaked me out I'm like are you for real <laughs> I asked him are you for real like this to me is like super freaky he says well, no it's been known to happen occasionally and I said occasionally like every night and he says maybe you're in an area where there's a big manufacturer and they do something at 1230 that generates a lot of electrical signal and somehow influences your router Anyways, I thought that was creaky. Obviously, uh, when I hung up, I was like baffled. But we'll see tonight how it goes. <laughs> I wanted to mention a couple of things. I started teaching again live, which is a little bit scary for me. But um, I need to do it. I need to find other sources of income. And that's the one that I, um, I'm trying right now. I'm still going to do uh, more online classes, but um, this is like it, within the immediate uh, future. I'm teaching my first class at Gigi's studio on September 24th, and we launched this post at 8 o'clock by the next day, which is yesterday at around, I can't remember the time. I'm thinking noon, but it might be a little later. We had sold out for the Saturday, so we just opened up another day we opened up the next day the sunday and there are only two spots left so whoever registered for my class thank you i'm really looking forward to seeing you um i'm baffled i'm excited and humbled and excited and scared and excited 
Did I say I was excited? I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to that. And what better place to get my feet wet and start teaching again than at my friend's uh, studio. So thank you, Gigi, for this opportunity. It's amazing. And she has uh, other classes as well. I will include a link to her Facebook page so that you can check out her classes because I know she has she has a few classes too and two of hers are already sold out but there's one i think on september 17th the week before i'm there uh there's a couple of spots left as well so you can find all the details in that link that i'm going to give you another exciting thing that's going to happen this week is heather and i heather from the craft shack we're doing a live show on friday at 2 p.m eastern time it's called creating without borders and it's kind of like not a talk show, I want to say a talk show, it's kind of like a discussion that we'll have between the two of us with a live audience, like a, a live chat going on, uh, discussing topics like touching on the non-creative side of creativity, um, also like all the emotional aspect of it. It's not going to be like a technique kind of you know, not how to create this or how to create this. It's going to be more uh, discussing about art in general and also touching on subjects like if you do art for as a business. There's so many topics that we can talk about, you know, like stuff like how do you get your inspiration or what is plagiarism and what is copyrights infringements. Uh, but it's an idea that's been roaming in our heads for a while. We've been talking about that for maybe close to a year Heather, help me out on that, I think so. So uh, it's finally out um, and it'll happen this coming Friday, uh, Friday, September 9th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And I will put the link as well in the description below. Last thing that I want to touch on is there's a big sale on Society6 and I'm not just preaching for my parish here. I'm saying this in general because I do have a lot of friends that have a store uh, at Society6, but there's a huge sale for the Labor Day weekend. It's already started by the time you're watching this, um, and it goes on until Monday night, and there is a 10% discount off of everything and free worldwide shipping. So if you're interested in um, buying some prints and other merchandise, uh, oh, I have something to show you. Hold on. I forgot about this, but I received this while Lucy was here, but a few weeks ago I did a uh, watercolor of succulents uh, for fr for um, someone I, I know on the internet. Anyways, um, and I posted it on Society6 as well, and I ordered these hand towels, which I wanted to have before my art crew comes over, but I got it when I think the last day that Lucy was here, a couple of days before she left, yes. And so this is the hand towels, look at that. Isn't that cool? And there's like, um, and it's so soft, it's like, mm. <laughs> I know with Lucy, with Lucy grabbed one and she's like this, oh, this is so soft. So this is the hand towel, which is pretty big. I mean, look at this. And they have bath towels and mugs and travel mugs and cups and I can't remember what else I listed on there, but that's the design and it's really good quality. I mean, it's very well sewn, very nicely done. It's got that tag right there inside. So quality products, I'm really happy with that. Not sure if you can hear this. Yeah, that's the fire alarm in tower two. Apparently something's going on. Um, that's the tower next to me, it's not my tower but firefighters yes. sorry a girl's lonely I think I should go check it out from the front but I have dinner <laughs> to eat oh now I feel bad because if the alarm hasn't gone off means they're definitely something it's not a false alarm so I'll go check it out So I just went from downstairs. <laughs> I had to go check it out. Um, they just stopped the alarm. They still don't know what triggered it, but firefighters can't leave until they actually find a cause. So the alarm keeps ringing. 
until they actually leave. So I think now they're on their way out, but no information. I just hope everything's okay. Now I'm gonna eat. I was uh, reading through the comments from the vlog, the last vlogist day that I just posted this morning. It seems that everybody's opinion <laughs> is to see vlogs three times a week, which is great. It's better than five days a week. I think that would have been too much of a commitment. I'm going to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday for vlogs. Uh, whatever happens in between, that's just, you know, whatever I have, I'll post in between. But um, on Monday, I will publish a recap of the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then on Wednesday will be a recap of Monday, Tuesday. And then on Friday, it'll be Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I'm not sure that I will film every day, but I think uh, that'll give me more uh, content and pick and choose whatever is more interesting as opposed to having like a blog every a vlog every day and not risking the chance of a day. You know, if, if I spend a whole day editing, that's kind of boring for you in honesty, in all honesty. So I don't want to do this. Um, so yeah, vlogs published Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then stuff, interesting stuff in between. Yeah. I really do want to go and draw. Um, I'm working on a sketch, a second sketch for Patreon, so I'm going to do that. And I want to get some watercoloring done as well. There's a question that comes back often, um, and it is, do you use reference material when you draw? And the answer is not usually, but these days I'm drawing things that I'm not used to drawing, and honestly, the only thing that I'm used to drawing is either a face, flowers, trees, or buildings. And I want to do a genie in a bottle, <laughs> or in a, in a Latin lamp kind of thing. And so I did the lamp a few days ago. I don't remember where exactly I saw it. At. Maybe it was a poster of uh, Aladdin, the movie. And so I grabbed the outline of the lamp. I will embellish, but this is just a, a, my sketch, my preliminary sketch. And of course, for the genie, I have no clue. <laughs> so I found this picture on Pinterest. Hello. And I'm using it to outline what, um, you know, to sketch the genie. Um, of course, he's not going to be exactly like that, but just to show you that, yes, I do use ma reference materials when I don't um, know how to draw things. And, um, you know, you get the outline, you get the basic idea, and then you embellish your own way. I just realized that I'm pretty sure a genie is supposed to come out from the spouts. <laughs> I know they don't exist, but if they were to exist, they probably would exit out of here. No? I don't know. <laughs> Mine's coming from the top. <laughs> I'm working on a cityscape with watercolor, with the Prima watercolors. I'm using um, the Tropicals and the Decadent Pies sets. As you progress further into something, you realize that some papers are better than others, some paints are better than others, some brushes are better than others, and I don't think I would have been able to make an educated guess like that uh, when I began into my watercolor journey. But now I realize that um, the, below, I mean, I still like it, but the Strathmore 400 series um, watercolor journal, I, well, first of all, it's not 100% cotton, and that's fine. But it's got like this, almost like a cellulose um, coating onto it. And the paint does not absorb into the paper really well. Anyways, I'm trying to uh, figure out how to best work on this. But at one point, I was getting <clears throat> aggravated with the paint. And so I busted out the... Um, my ink tens pencils, which of course it's ink, it's not watercolor, it's different. Um, so that's where that dark spot is. It's fine, I don't mind it, it just doesn't jive with the rest of the picture, but that's fine. 
Um, the blue that you're seeing here is masking fluid, by the way. I haven't removed it yet. Quick update. I just added the color 22 from the tropical set. And check out the vibrancy it added to the whole thing. It's the end of the weekend vlog, which will be published Monday morning. Not a bad weekend at all. I thought I would be more productive, but then again, I took some time off to be human. Gigi and I went to a movie with Jess last night. Uh, we went to see Bad Moms. It was, I thought it was funny. Um, it was an easy movie to watch and um, it was perfect. I needed some laughter and so that movie was perfect. Um, came back home and started working on two projects, kind of like in tandem, and this is what I did most of today's. Um, <clears throat> I had to go get some supplies for my class, my classes um, at Gigi's studio, uh, the one that's coming up on the 24th. We're sold out for the two dates. <laughs> So um, it was supposed to be just the Saturday. Now we're doing Sunday as well. And the Sunday is also sold out. So I'm very happy about this. Um, overwhelmed, but super happy. Um, the two projects that I was working on this weekend was a sketch from my patrons. It's finished, but I won't show it to you. Uh, just because I want to show it to my patrons first and I need to film the video with that artwork. So probably in the vlog for Wednesday, you'll see the whole thing. I also, <laughs> this is funny. <clears throat> I think I gave you some update concerning this page that I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so I posted a snippet of it on Instagram and Lynn's one of my dear friends from the UK, not Lynn, but Lynn's. It's confusing. Both of them are from the UK. Um, there was an error in perspective, and she was talking about perspective in her comment because she posted a comment underneath my post. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at it and I'm going, Holy crap! So, <laughs> what happened was this tree. Do you see this triangle? It's kind of like you can see a little bit of the building showing through. That tree was behind the buildings, but if you look at the whole picture, those trees are in the foreground. So that didn't make any sense at all. And I'm like, I was laughing so hard. I'm like, holy crap, look at this. So um, yeah, there's a few things I need to correct, but the rest will be done. So this is watercolor, and the rest will be done on uh, with my, uh, colored pencils and the page on the left hand side was just a clean up while I was swatching my colors for this which is a good thing here I'll show you an example so I'm not sure if you're gonna see that it's not finished by the way I still have the masking fluid there um, I'm not sure if that light will pick it up but there's gold happening here I put I think I explained that to you I put perfect pearls over here and because this color, when I added that magenta, I was so in love with it. I love that corner right here. Um, so I thought, okay, well, I have bright here. So maybe I can light light this corner up a little bit uh, with yellow, right? Gold, yellow. So I swatched the yellow here, and I immediately saw that that was the wrong color. <laughs> so I, I'm kind of liking... Um, the fact that the left hand side can be used for pickup or for cleanup and swatches It's not pretty, but it's not it's perfect for that now. I have to do paperwork tonight, which bleh, it sucks I hate doing it. I should have done it like a month ago, but yes, I have nothing else to say <laughs> Well, I could talk to you for hours, but you know nothing interesting So I will say thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments Please feel free to leave them below and I will see, see you later Bye! Yahoo! What I'll be doing. Someone's not happy. <laughs> Finally! I'm taking the plunge. I'm going to teach.